What's up everyone? Jay Ingersoll here, MCI EDP Studios. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about five things I wish I knew when I started my musical journey and I hope this can help you guys out. This can help people that are in bands, this can help out producers, um, rappers especially, and any other type of musicians or, or artists. These ideas are kind of just a blanket group of ideas. I'm not going to get real specific, but like I said, I'm hoping this can help you along your journey. If you find value in this video, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And I can keep bringing you guys hopefully valuable videos that will get you further faster on your journey. So here we go. Number one thing that I wish I knew when I first started this journey was being able to have laser focus. There are a lot of shiny objects out there there are a lot of different things you can do for me i've learned this the hard way because i'm an engineer who records mix and masters i shoot music videos i've been playing in bands uh, playing guitar in bands for 20 years now i make beats you can only do so many things and if you try to focus on too many things you're not going to get good at some of the things you should really focus on. So if you're a rapper, you should really focus on rapping. Don't focus on mixing, mastering your stuff, and recording your own stuff. I mean, it is good for ideas, but at the same token, like, if your main goal is to be a rapper, then be a rapper. Once you've mastered that, and once that comes easy to you, and you put your 10,000 hours in, and you've mastered your craft, then you can move on to start recording yourself, or mixing, or mastering. It's not bad to do multiple things, but you're just not going to get the mastery out of that specific thing that's going to help you move towards your goals. Just have that laser focus. Make a list of five to ten things that you really want to do and then break it down to the importance of what's going to help you move further faster whatever gain you're trying to get out of it. Whether it's trying to help people, whether it's trying monetary gain or whatever that may be, but you really need to have that laser focus. Don't get caught off guard, and I tell a lot of people that because I've, I've done it the wrong way. I've dabbled in so many different things. I've got good at a lot of them because I've done them for a long time now. I could have been so much better if I just focused on one thing at a time. Number two thing that can help you if you're just getting started in your journey that I wish I knew was being able to have discipline and consistency. So this really ties into the focus. So if you're not focused on certain things, you can't be disciplined and consistent with the things that you're trying to master and perfect. You have to do these things daily. If you're a rapper, you can't go write a rap and then a week later write another rap. You're not going to get better or very good traction doing it like that. You have to do these things daily. You have to do routines. You have to practice. It is just a grind. You have to put the reps in. You know, Just like lifting weights, you have to do it multiple times a week for a long time in order to see results. Same thing with anything on a creative side of the journey, whether it be band, rappers, producers, anything like that. You have to keep going, keep going, keep going, and then see the progress and also celebrate those. Number three thing that I wish I knew when I started my journey was, you've heard this before, is your network is your net worth, right? Surround yourself with people that have the same kind of attitudes. For me, I want to be around positive people that are trying to accomplish goals, that are trying to get better, that are trying to move forward. You may get in a group, whether it be a band or what have you, and you're going to find out real quick if those certain people align with the same goal. They say if you hang around four millionaires, you'll be the fifth millionaire. Same goes with losers. If you hang around four losers, you're going to be the fifth loser. Just the people you surround yourself with, that kind of network. I'm not talking about networking and building new relationships, which is also important. That's a whole other topic for a different video. But with that being said, just surround yourself with good quality people that want to help you move forward and can see your vision just as well as you can see it and align yourself with those people and push forward all together. That will get you further faster. So number four, moving on, marketing. I'm not going to go into a whole marketing video here. That's There's channels for that. There's guys out there like Adam Ivey and Damian Keys, and they really have that down. Those are things that I've been working on. But that is one thing that I neglected for a long time and didn't understand was if you want to get your product out there, whether it's a podcast or you know uh, your music, definitely your band, whatever, you have to learn how to market music. And one of the first things is you got to know your target audience. And I'll go into some of that in some other videos and dive deeper and help point you guys in the right direction with that. But 
marketing is super important if you're trying to get your product in front of people. Obviously, it has to be good enough and it can't be trash and talent's not alone just good enough, but you have to learn the marketing side. There's a million ways to do it. There's all kinds of niche things. There's all kinds of, again, shiny objects and multiple people that talk about it, but you got to find something that works for you. Stay focused, stay disciplined, stay consistent with that. But the marketing is very, very important on your journey if you're trying to get your stuff out there and help people or get monetary gain or whatever it may be. Closing this video off, the fifth thing that I wish I knew when I first started as a creator was just rest, relaxation, unwinding. You hear a lot of gurus, I sleep four hours a night. You hear other people, oh, if you really want this, you need to stay going and going and going at it. And yeah, but the rest and balance is a very, very important aspect, especially after you get further along in your music journey. You don't want to suffer burnout. You don't want to be passionate about the things that you once started to be passionate about because you burned yourself to a crisp. You don't want to run out of ideas because you're just constantly on the grind and you don't give yourself a chance to kind of take a day off, let the creative juices recharge, come back with a fresh perspective and look at things at a different angle. That is very important. So quick five things. I hope this video helps you guys. If it does, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be putting out more videos this year, this kind of content. Hopefully, I'm calling it musical motivation to help people move further faster and with some of the mistakes that I've made. Hopefully it can help you guys. With that being said, much love to you guys. Peace.